Korea has many nicknames, one of them being a coffee republic. You're bound to see at least one or two or many more coffee shops within every block in Seoul, and there's a high chance that it's a Starbucks. The only downside, though, for the consumers could be the price. Kata Kim tells us more. Look around, and it won't be too hard to find a place to grab a cup of coffee. But none have quite the presence that Starbucks has. Just across the street from where I'm standing is another Starbucks that's quite as busy as this one. Actually, there are so many in Seoul, 284 Starbucks coffee shops in the capital city. Now that's more than you'll find in New York City, Shanghai, London or Seattle, where the company was founded. So why are customers finding their way to a Starbucks? There are many items on the menu and a lot of Starbucks stores. They are easy to find, so that's why I continue coming. I like the brand image, and the stores are clean compared to other coffee shops. But enjoying the company's fresh brewed coffee comes with a higher price. Customers are paying a premium for a cup of joe at Starbucks stores in Korea, on average $4.85. That's nearly twice the amount customers pay in the United States. For an Americano, the data shows that Korea ranks sixth on the price list behind countries like Poland and Greece. As for the expensive markup for the same coffee drinks, Starbucks Korea declined to comment to Arirang News. But according to Korean daily Dongailbo, Starbucks Korea says different operating costs and cultural factors are the reasons and that using numbers may not be the best way to draw comparisons. But do they justify higher prices? Well, perhaps, when compared with other domestic coffee chains in the country, Starbucks prices are on par with those found at domestic coffee chains. It appears that Koreans, generally speaking, are willing to shell out a little extra for a cup of coffee, no matter where it comes from. Connie Kim, Arirang News.